Okay, let me put this back here on my trusty makeshift tripod, which is basically on a stack of DVDs. All right, it's nighttime, but you know what? I got in the hang of making these uh, videos. I don't know if they have uh, an affiliate with this, but I want to talk about this phone. This phone I could talk about more in depth. I'm using the Sony Cybershot HX, no, H, uh, DSC H300, not the HX, not that uh, high end the camera, but it's, it's a decent camera. If you want to know about that, I talked about it in the last video, although I didn't show it to you, I just recommended it and there's a uh, Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy it. I bought it from Walmart, but apparently they offer more on the Amazon with a tripod and uh, a bag and several other items which they didn't offer when I bought it at the store. Um, but this is, I'm going to take it out of this case which I got in Chinatown several years ago. I've had this phone for about, let's see, two and a half years. Oh, what's this? <laughs> a locker combination. I forgot I had it there. This... Don't, don't... I don't know if you can see all this. This is just a cover, like an iPhone cover that I got at the dollar store and I've kept it on so it protects the glass. It's, it's smudged and all that, but the actual f glass of the phone is intact. I keep it like this, I'm fine like that. It's the Moto G, it's the Motorola Moto G. They probably have different versions by now. Um, this is probably a little bigger in size, I think I've seen some, but this one does me quite fine. The Moto G is a scaled down version, cheaper version of the Moto X from what I believe. And if I can find an Amazon affiliate link, if you want to buy a cheap, inexpensive, yet good phone off Amazon, I'll try to find a link to that. And then you can click in the description, click on the link in the description to buy it. But this does me quite fine. And it's guilt free because I don't feel like I am missing out on anything. And with this case that I bought in Chinatown, I've dropped the phone many times and nothing's happened to it and it's working quite, it's working fine. I got some apps on it. I got a meetup app, which is up here and I have WhatsApp. I don't know if you can see that. These are the apps I work with. I, I now also have Messenger. Now, remember, this is my first smartphone. I do have an iPad mini. I'm not one to buy all the new generations of iPhone or anything. I just want what works and what's reliable and this does it for me. And if you're on the cheap like I am, it works fine. So, let me see. Got text messaging, everything. What can I show you about this? Um. We have a gallery, we have the internet. Well, why, right now I'm in, in Wi-Fi. Let me see. It's, it feels very solid. It's, it's now obviously heavier than some phones. It's got a weight to it, but I like that. It feels very good in the hand. Um, the camera. Right now I'm using the Sony Cybershot and Yes, the camera is better on that. The camera on this, it, it's not an iPhone, okay? So, let me see if there's any good pictures here before I say that. I take some pictures on this. I take a lot of pictures on this, actually. And... The, 
the pictures are okay. I don't know the megapixels of this. Maybe I could check that up in here. Let me see. Stick with me. Don't click. Don't click off this video yet. I will get into the specs. So I'm going to try to get into the specs here. And then I'm going to click on the grid up here. And I'm going to go into settings up here and gets into my data usage, display, the battery, the apps, the location, the printing about the phone. Okay, let's start with that. It's the Moto G and it's the Android version for is it 4-4-4 looks like 4-4-4 and the baseband version I don't know what that is the kernel version the system version the build number I don't know any of that so let's go back date and time accessibility Motorola device ID, you need to know that. No. The language and input security, location, apps, battery. Well, battery, I... I don't find that the phone dies like the batteries lasted okay I remember now like this battery it's not a battery where you can actually take it out that was the main thing with this the main setback I guess but so far the batteries lasted me two and a half years I recharge it I put it on the charger every day I haven't had problems with it and it doesn't drain of the um the the juice you know the the energy or the life the, the battery doesn't drain very quickly so it's it's been fine um again it's not an iphone but you don't pay that much for this phone and it's it's kind of guilt free like i found with iphones it's like maybe it's just me but i mean if you're paying like a unless it's included in your plan and you're paying a lot for your plan I have a prepaid plan, so everything's on the cheap. Um, I've been this phone has been bl I've been blessed with this phone. You know, it hasn't done anything weird, hasn't broken. I did actually put it in the toilet. It dropped in the toilet, and I thought it was screwed up. <clears throat> I didn't do that that um, thing where you put it in the rice uh, bag of rice to absorb the moisture. Um, the speaker wasn't working anymore and I had to put in the earbuds in the top part here to, to just listen to it. I thought that was the only way it was going to work. But after a few days it dried off and it was fine. So, just telling you personal experiences. It's not, you know, I'm new at uh, trying to show you with, uh, devices and techie, this techie thing. I'm not a techie. I have tech, but I mean... My laptop is several years old, everything is old, I'm just more for the sustainability and the cheap price. So, if you're all for that, stick with this video, okay? So, um, the data uses the display, the storage, the battery, let me just see the battery, what it says, uh, though I said something. Oh, you got a battery saver option. I just found that out. Didn't seem to be a big... Uh, deal with me. Let's see. Let me go back. Is that it for settings? Come on. Let's get back into settings. Yeah. So, the settings, the brightness. 
you could change the brightness of the screen okay oh, I have to fix that because now the screen's not bright enough let's fix that okay um settings battery Bluetooth location Oh, I had my location on. I'm going to take my location off. So it's a GPS. <laughs> I know I'm not sharing this with you. I'm just trying to figure some of these things out here. But, man, let me go back into settings. Oh, wait a second. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna go back into settings. Um, storage. Okay, maybe the storage. My storage is almost up. Total space is about five, five point five gigs. And I have, what is taking up? Uh, I have I have one point four gigs left on my 5.5 so it's basically my apps are taking up most of the storage the video the photos pictures and videos are taking up some mags audio downloads cached data miscellaneous i want to see if i can remove i can press on the apps and i can remove some of the apps So many things I can remove. Okay, now s display. You have the option of ringtones and vibration for for you know, like any other phone. Mm. I don't know. I guess I should talk about you know the text messaging using the um, I should delete that. These are text messaging, okay? I can show it that quickly, but the the screen is down here and it works fine with me. You know, the camera's not the phone is not huge. Obviously, you can turn it this way to get the text messaging, you know, if you have big thumbs, but it doesn't seem... The screen, the touch screen, seems to be pretty accurate. I don't have problems with it, and I haven't lost problems with it. I haven't lost sensibility with it, even with the protective screen that I got at the dollar store that I just stuck on here. That's fine. Um, like I said, I dropped in the toilet it dried off after a few days I um, dropped it, well, I bought one of these things and I've dropped the phone many times and no problems with it um, if you want to replace sim cards because I, I go when I go to the US I use a different sim card and I just put my nail in here and I kind of press my palm of my hand on the phone and I kind of lift up the back slowly and then you get back here that's the battery that you can't take out and this thing on the side here is a sim card and if I press it it will spring out and then I can put in another sim card you know, like a data card. I saw online on one video when I learned to do this that you could put two, put one in and put the other one in, but I didn't try it with this. So I don't know and I'm not going to try it right now. I just usually take this one out and I take the SIM card 
Um, do I have one here? Like when you get a SIM card, it comes like when you punch it out. It comes like a a plastic card, and you punch the SIM card out, and then you put it into the phone. But then I usually take uh, the other SIM card on the plastic here, and I'll just tape it on, or I could tape it in here, like I have with this combination lock number. So that's pretty much it with that. If you have any questions, just uh, message me, comment in the uh, comment in the on the video. If I can find, get myself an Amazon affiliate and you want to buy this, please click on the link in the description. If there is no link in the description, it's because I couldn't find an affiliate with Amazon. Right now I'm starting with Amazon. <clears throat> and, you know, you'll have to find somewhere else to buy it. And the speaker is fine. The headset is fine. It hasn't exploded in my ha in my hand or my ear. Um, the speaker is back here. I, I just I have my protective coating on again, but it's right back here. The that's a flash down there. I don't remember the megapixels of this. The camera is okay, but um, I have a digital camera now, so it's a lot better. And if, oh, if you want to take a screenshot, let me see if I can do this. Okay, let's say I want to take a screenshot of that. The way it works with this phone, Motorola is, well, I think it's all Androids from what I heard. This is the power on and off switch. Let me take this off again. So you don't think that the phone is so thick. It's not that thick. Oh. <clears throat> okay. See the buttons are actually metal colored, but when they're in this protective thing, they look black. Cuz it's it, they're covered with the PVC or whatever the vine, whatever the plastic is. Going to press on the just going to press on the on off button and then these are the volume buttons I'm gonna press on the lower uh, the lower volume at the same time so I'm just gonna do it once Let's see if I can do it without seeing because sometimes if they're not together you're gonna get the volume switch on it's, it's gonna be in the picture so here we go I'll press them both together and hold Yep, it worked. So let's see if I could show it to you. So basically, I'm going to press on the menu. I'm going to press on the gallery. Actually, no, actually I could just scroll down here and it says its screenshot was captured. And I'm just going to click on that. And I have a choice of in gallery or in photos. Those are the two apps that are on the phone. I'm going to click just once. Did it come out? Yep. That's the font. That's the picture. And let's see if I could swipe. I have other pictures there. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can show you. I like the camera. It's good for me. It doesn't break the bank. It's a good it, it's a good phone for the price point. It's a scaled down version of the Moto X. So this is the Moto G. Now, if you're someone who wants high performance phones, um, you know maybe you need something more performant. But for me works fine and it's a smartphone you could use it in Wi-Fi you could do a lot of things and I don't need more than I want I kinda will probably progress up to something but right now it does me just fine it's been two and a half years
So, that being said, leave your comments and criticisms. If there is something in the description box with a link, click on it if you want to buy this phone. And it's an affiliate link if I can find it. And then, of course, I'll get a little commission. Uh, that's how affiliates work. Um, but I just showed you, and you can ask me questions about it. Um, if there's other information you need to know, I might have to look it up myself too. But I've had it for two and a half years. It works great for me. So have a good night.